him because now he's starting to use the grams to slide. So he tried to hold his leg. So he was on his knees. He's got some crutches. He's trying to hit me or whatever, right? You see? But look, if I take his legs away from him, if he really falls into the strand, he's back at me. So I've, I've, I've managed to get this far to the strangle. But I, I'm trying like crazy. Maybe it's not working. And I don't want him to be on balance because he can hit me. So it's just the same principle again. I get him off balance and it falls into the strangle. Okay. You just wriggle around it like that. See? Take his legs away. And if you take him away this way, he like this. Or if you push him away, like this. You can just push his leg away. And he'll fall. But you've got your foot under this one here. You can lift him over. And then you can go in on the strangle like this. Or you can pull it. Pull this hand. And this hand goes in. Or you can just lean straight in. Pull this away. The course of course, the goal is the opportunity this hand may be striking you. See? I'm not... I'm striking too long. It's not too long. It's not too long. And also, if you get in nice and tight, see? And that's where all this thing, I think, is useful as well. Trapping. See? Trap his hands. <coughs> see? Get across him. See how the down trap? You're going awfully quick. Huh? If you get it right. See, we suddenly see people do this. They don't have the principle. And they're straining like mad. See? Now you could be there all day now, no problem. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. See, too much. Nothing. Nothing. No, it's just not going to work. So you've got to get a good grip on the cloth. You've got to get a good grip on the cloth. Nice and tight. See? Oh, okay. See? Here. <laughs> and you can do lots of ways. So why don't you practice just different ways of making it work for you? It's like a city before where everything is. But you know the principle, then you can look at the techniques. Just learn the techniques. Under mm -hmm. other perfect situation. <clears throat> Fine, Bobby's sitting here nice and nicey. But if we're wrestling around, here and Bobby's trying to hold me down. Or if it's a street situation and he's trying to, he's trying to hit me. See? See, this is, this is maybe all I get. See? And once you get boom, then all these things can start to fly. Okay. So, once you get, once you get the, just play with the techniques so you know what they are. Then we'll get on the deck. We'll move around, move around and we'll look for chances for the strangles. Alright? You've got to be very careful with this, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Um, it's, it's another way of controlling somebody. But as important as it is to learn the strangles, it's important now to know how to get out of them. And so how do you learn to get out of a strangle if you've never experienced one, you don't know what it is. You know? So when we're learning these strangles, then we start to look at getting out of them. Now, 